Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Panzer and today we're going to be talking about everything there is to do in the world of Warcraft for the week of November 7th. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. So just a heads up, today's video is going to be my standard World of Warcraft what to do this week type video. But don't worry, I have tons of BlizzCon content coming up. I just didn't want to like ruin my schedule. I've been going so well and not missing one of these and I didn't want to screw it up for myself. So if you're interested in seeing BlizzCon content, make sure that you stay tuned because there's a whole lot coming soon. And kicking off this week in the world of Warcraft, the current value of the WoW token on North American Realms is 188,928 gold. Our artifact knowledge is still going up. That means that this week we are artifact knowledge level 51, meaning that we're gaining artifact power at a rate of 220,555,100%. Moving on to actual stuff that you can do in the world of Warcraft, the Darkmoon Fair began on November 4th and continues through November 11th. There's lots of stuff to earn like pets, mounts, toys, transmog, and more. If you're working on any rep right now, remember that the Dark Moon Fair has the hat as well as the carousel that will help you gain reputation at a faster rate. The archaeology quest this week will reward players with the key of Kalindris. This will grant you access to a secret side room within the Blackrock Hold. Kalindris is the name of the mini boss in the aforementioned secret room. If you don't get this now, you have to wait six months because archaeology quests are bi-weekly and last two weeks, and that's the way that math works. Also, if you collect all the different archaeology quest thingamabobs, you'll be rewarded with an artifact tint from the achievement this side up. The weekly bonus event is Wrath of the Lich King Time Walking. Don't forget to pick up the quest of Frozen Path Through Time from Archmage Tamir and Dalaran. This will require you to complete five Northern Time Walking dungeons to receive a cache of fell treasures, an accolade of victory, and a seal of broken fate. Loot from Time Walking bosses scales appropriately with your level, which at 110 is 850, and it also can be warforged up to 865. During time walking, you can earn badges that can be exchanged for rewards like mounts and pets. There's also the Reigns of the Infinite Time Reaver, which is a random chance from any time walking boss. Wrath of the Lich King time walking dungeons include Ankahet the Old Kingdom, Gundrak, Halls of Lightning, Nexus, Utgard Pinnacle, and Pit of Saron. I also want to mention that Ulduar time walking was announced at BlizzCon, which I'm super, super excited about. There is no PvP Brawl this week because PvP Brawls last one week, but they only come around every two weeks, so we have a week on and a week off. But it was announced at BlizzCon that we would be getting new Brawls in the next expansion, so maybe with having more Brawls, we won't have any stupid weeks off anymore. The Mooncon Festival Micro Holiday falls on Sunday, November 12th. This is a cute little RP event that gives you a Mooncon Hatchling companion for 24 hours. There aren't any permanent rewards, but it's definitely an adorable little thing to do, so if you're bored, check it out. This week's Mythic Plus affixes are Teeming, Necrotic, and Tyrannical. Teeming, additional non-boss enemies are present throughout the dungeon. Necrotic, all enemies' melee attacks apply a stacking blight that inflicts damage over time and reduces healing received. Tyrannical, boss enemies have 40% more health and inflict up to 15% additional damage. As far as world bosses go, the 860 Broken Isles boss is Anna Moose, and the 930 Argus Greater Invasion Point boss is Inquisitor Meto. And one last thing before I wrap up the video, it was announced at BlizzCon that Tuesday, November 28th will be the opening of the new raid and Taurus the Burning Throne. So that means that this Tuesday you will have three raid resets left before the new raid comes out. So use them wisely and enjoy the rest of your time in Tomb of Sargeras. And that's about it for what's going on this week in the world of Warcraft. I know you guys are all waiting for BlizzCon videos, and I'm really, really excited to make them. I've written about eight pages of notes today, so keep an eye out for those videos. They'll be coming very soon. In the meantime, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite part of BlizzCon was, because I would love to hear it. For me, it was probably... Oh, well, of course it's like the new expansion announcement, but I also loved all the Overwatch announcements and I'm even really excited for what's going on in Heroes of the Storm and eSports looks so lit fam, but ugh, I guess I should go rest up my voice a little bit since I seem to have lost it at BlizzCon and keep working on these videos. I'll have a new one out for you tomorrow and in the meantime, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you all. You're in my hearts. So I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.